prayer. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our announcements are as follows. Every morning at 6 a.m. from Monday to Friday, we have our morning prayer, which is at 7 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. Our midday service starts at 5 to 12, and then we have our evening service, which starts at half past 6 every night. Our midnight prayer starts at 5 to 12 every night, and we also have our weekly prayer and fasting, which is on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. The details of the fasting are shared on our different WhatsApp groups. Amen. Amen. Tonight we will get the word of God from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, from verse 19, NIV. It reads as follows. Your wickedness will punish you. Your backsliding will rebuke you. Consider then and realize how evil and bitter it is for you when you forsake the Lord your God and have no awe of me, declares the Lord, the Lord Almighty. As a thief is disgraced when he is caught, so the people of Israel are disgraced. They, their kings and their officials, their priests and their prophets, they say to the wood, you are my father and to stone you gave me birth they have turned their backs to me and not their faces yet when they are in trouble they say come and save us where then are the gods you made for yourselves let them come if they can save you when you are in trouble for you judah have as many gods as you have towns in vain I punished your people. They did not respond to correction. Your shed has devoured your prophets like a ravenous lion. You of this generation consider the word of the Lord. Have I been a desert to Israel or a land of great darkness? Why do my people say we are free to roam? We will come to you no more. Does a young woman forget her jewelry, a bride, her wedding ornaments? Yet my people have forgotten me. Days without number. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Also tonight we will have a privilege to go through the word of God together believing the word of God to be taught with power, power to heal, power to bless, power to protect in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, then we're going to the word of God from the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 verse number 19. The Bible says that your wickedness will punish you. Your backsliding will rebuke you. Consider then and realize how evil and bitter it is for you when you forsake the Lord your God and have how and have no how in me, declares the Lord Almighty. Then the word of God says that God have said. You know, their wickedness will punish them. And their backsliding will rebuke them. And they must consider how evil and bitter it is when they forsake the Lord, their God. Then it is something to turn back from God or to reduce in a relationship with God. It is something that must never be done. Yet people do it all the time. This time God was talking to, to Israel and is talking to Judah when God is talking to Israel and is talking to Judah God is saying that 
is actually asking them how dangerous it is to actually forsake the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, it is dangerous to turn your back as a child of God from God or to backslide. That's why as a child of God, it is something that we must not do. And we must try by all means to preserve our relationship with God. Amen. Because when you hear someone we have backslided. It means that that person here was having a relationship with God. As they were having a relationship with God, wonderful relationship with God, and after that, they choose, sooner or later, they find themselves not doing what they were doing before to maintain that relationship with God. Most of the time, finding themselves doing what God does not want them to do. Amen. And that's why the Bible is saying that your wickedness will punish you because when somebody backslide, when they backslide, most of the time, they have begun to engage more in acts of wickedness. Amen. They have begun to engage more in things that God does not love. Amen. In things that Amen. God does not love. They are doing things that God does not love. As they are doing things that God does not love, the Spirit of the Lord grieves. Amen. God grieves. Amen. Amen. And as they are benefit of relation, having a relationship with God, they are also, you know, you can't say that it is not even benefit. They are, they are actions that uh, of backslidden that attract also punishment from God. Or you can say that the wrath of God. Anyway, for us to understand well what we are talking about, let us go to the book of the book of Deuteronomy. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, and let us read from verse number. 15. The Bible says that, however, if you do not obey the Lord your God and do carefully follow all his commands and decrees that I'm giving you today, all these cases will come on you and overtake you. Then, I want you to get it very well. If we read Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse number 1, the Bible will say that if you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands, I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all nations and all these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. Amen. Then that means the word of God is saying that if you can carefully obey the word of God and all his command God is saying that he will automatically bless you Amen. he will automatically set you above all nations of the earth Amen. and God is saying that there are even some blessings that automatically will come after come after and accompany those who obey the Lord. Amen. Then Amen. in opposite, when people forsake the Lord, 
when people do what the word of God says that in the book of Deuteronomy 28 verse number 15 if they do not obey the Lord their God and begin to forsake the Lord the Bible says that the Lord says that oh, they, are, they attract curses they attract curses themselves. Then the, listen to me. God, God wants to bless you. God wants everything to go well with you. But there are things that when people do, they attract curses for themselves. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. They automatically attract cases for themselves you obey the law the word of the lord and you walk with god automatically you are going to be blessed and you will enjoy god's blessings amen unfortunately if you don't do so the word of god say that those who does not obey the word of God, they attract cases for themselves. Amen. And most of the time, they wonder why things are going wrong. Why things are not going well. Most of the time, it's because they, are attra- they have at- not obeyed the word of God. They have forsaken their blesser. Amen. They have forsaken their protector. They have forsaken their healer. They have forsaken their deliverer. Amen. And the word of God talks about in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse number 16. So that they will be cursed in the city and cursed in the country. Amen. That means it will be as if the curse is curses are chasing after them. And the, the Bible say that you are, their baskets and their kneading will be cursed. Their fruit of the womb will be cursed. Their crops of their land and the calves of their heads and the lambs of their flocks. The Bible said that they will be cursed when they come in. And they will, in verse number 19, and they will be cursed when they go out. They are people who have forsaken the Lord. And when they have forsaken the Lord and worship idols, worship things and forsaken the Lord God of heaven, the blesser, and they expect things to be right and they are wondering why things are not going well. Uh, I wish I'm talking to somebody tonight to say that the Lord is our blesser. The Lord is our healer. The Lord is our provider. Amen. You take care of the Lord. You are taking care of your blesser. Amen. You forsake the, anyone who forsake the Lord. Amen. It is as if they are inviting the devil. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say Amen. fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm the enjoying word of God. the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm the word of God. The Bible says that in the book of John chapter 10 verse number 10 the thief comes only to steal to kill and to destroy the devil knows only to steal to kill and to destroy he does not know anything good mm-hmm. then Jesus Christ said that I have come that they may have life and have it to the full that means if you want to accept experience God's blessings you welcome Jesus you take care of Jesus and automatically Jesus Christ will make sure that you experience God's blessings in abundance 
And it is when Jesus Christ is there and you won't be able to experience the power of the devil. And sometimes when you are in the presence of God and when you are in God's right books, God good books, you may even think that the devil does not exist. You may even think that the devil does not exist because you are with the good shepherd. Everything is going well and is protecting you from all the works of the devil. Amen. As the Bible says that, when the Bible talks about there was a man by the name of Job. And the Bible said that Job, as he was walking with God upright and he shun evil and he take care of his relationship with God, God blessed him and God protected him in such a way that the devil could not touch Job and everything that Job owned. Amen. And the devil could say that when God talked to, talk to the, the Satan and tell him that if you consider my servant Job, and the Bible say that, the devil say that, Satan say that, does Job love you for nothing? Job love you because you have been blessing him. Job love you because you have been protecting everything that he owns. Job does not just love you for nothing. He loves you because you have been protecting him. Amen. You have been blessing him. That's why Job loves you so much. Amen. In such a way that the devil said that God have built around Job. The fence that the fence that the devil could not touch what Job belongs to Job. Amen. The incident is like that when you are in God's good books. You might even think that the devil does not exist. Amen. But if you want to find out that the devil exists, go out of the presence of God and God takes away his hedge. Amen. His protecting hedge. Then that's when somebody begins to realize the devil is a bad devil. Amen. When we are saying that the devil is powerless, demons are powerless, witches are powerless, we are saying so because we are in the presence of God. Amen. We are in the power of the Almighty. Amen. Because He gives you the grace also to destroy all the devil's work. Then that's why you are able to be so bold to destroy the devil's work. Amen. The devil's schemes, Amen. the devil's plan, everything of the devil is nothing. Why? Amen. You are in the presence of Amen. God. And as long as you maintain your relationship with God. But if you do a mistake and you let God go, Amen. protection cover will go. Amen. Anointing that destroys the yoke, that destroys the devil's web, work, it goes. And once it's gone, you can't find the devil by your own. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. You can't face the devil by your own. That's why after that, what the Bible is talking about, that that person without God, without God's help and God's enablement, that person who does not obey the Lord their God and can fully follow his commands and who God have, t they have turned their back, they will be cursed in the city. They will be cursed in the country. Amen. When the word of God is talking about they will be cursed everywhere. There are lots of cases actually when you read that chapter of the book of Deuteronomy going down. Amen. It's because they have attracted they are doing things that are entertaining demons. Amen. They are doing things that are entertaining the devil. Amen. And the devil cannot bless. Amen. The devil only knows how to steal, Amen. how to kill, and how to destroy. Amen. To those who think it seems to be they are going well when they are saving the devil. No, that is just the recruitment process. Amen. 
That is just the recruitment process. It is when the devil is trying to, to attract them. But once he has fully taken over, that's when they will realize that the devil is a bad devil. The devil is an ugly devil. You know, there are those who have named the devil as the red devil and put him with horns and with tail. It's because they've seen what the devil can do. That is bad devil. Amen. You don't want him in close to your things in your life because the only thing that he knows, it is to steal. Amen. It is to kill and to destroy. Amen. The Bible says that as the cases goes down to those who backslide, to those who, who forsake the Lord, their defender, their blesser, their protector. The Bible says that the, in verse number 20, the Lord will send them curses, confusion, and rebuke them in everything they put their hand to. Amen. Until they are destroyed and come to the sudden ruin because the evil you they have done of forsaking him. Hmm. There are people where they say, they, you hear, I, I'm telling you, you may hear, the, you may think this is just a verse. But there are people who are experiencing what that verse talks about. That whatever they touch does not work. Whatever, and they are confused. Amen. That means what is it? What is actually happening there? It's a curse at work. Amen. It's a curse at work. And that's why people, when we say that, no, life is Jesus. Find Jesus, He will bless everything that you do. Amen. And you will touch things, and things will begin to work. Otherwise, if you don't do so, there are some people who have not done so and the curse is following them. Amen. Where the Bible says, the Lord will send curses on them and confusion and rebuke everything they put their hands to Amen. until they are destroyed and come to the sudden ruin because of the evil they've done in forsaking God. Amen. It's a terrible mistake to forsake the Lord. Amen. It's a terrible mistake anybody can do to deny Jesus. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Because whoever done so will live a cursed life. Amen. And the Bible said that in verse number 21. The Lord will plague them with disease until he has destroyed them from the land they are entering to possess. Amen. You have had, you know, when people just get sick and get sick, not just get sick or because they've got a headache and it goes, not something small. Sicknesses that kills people mysteriously. There are people like that. Where people just get sick mysteriously and die. Amen. It's part of the curses. Amen. It's a terrible thing to forsake the Lord. It's Amen. a terrible thing to forsake the Lord. Amen. It's a terrible thing to backslide. Amen. Amen. When it goes down. Amen. The Bible said that in verse number 22, the Lord will strike them with the wasting disease, with fever, with inflammation, with a scorching heat and a drought, with blind and mildew, which with, with plague, with a plague, it will plague them until they perish. Amen. That means it is as if there are people as if, who are as if God is fighting them. Amen. Because their life is distasteful to God. Amen. Then God begin not to enjoy their life. Amen. When they have backslide from the Lord. 
when they have turned their back against the Lord. Amen. It's a terrible thing, the Bible says that, to fall into the hands of God. Amen. It's a terrible thing. Amen. That's why a child of God is the best of everybody to be always in God's right books. Amen. Not to, for the Lord to be against them. That's why as a child of God, we must always make sure that God is what? Is by our side. Blessing you. Fighting for you. Protecting you. Not the Lord fighting against you. Because when the Lord fights, he does not fight fair. He does not fight fair. If you want to find out whether God fights fair or not, go, let, you can ask Pharaoh what happened. Pharaoh will tell you that God does not fight fair. Amen. When he fight, he can change water into blood. Amen. When he fight, he can fill the whole land with frogs. Amen. When he fight, he can make it rain hail. Amen. When he fight, he can fight. He, fight. he filled Egypt with wow. darkness. When he fight, he even eh, he killed the firstborn. He killed the animal because Amen. if he fight, he does not fight fair. Amen. But if he's by your side also, he does not bless you fairly. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. That it is the best for the Lord to be by your side. Amen. By your side, blessing you. Amen. By your side, fighting for you. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. When it goes down in verse number 23, the Bible said that the sky over your head will, over their head, will be bronze. And the ground beneath an iron. Amen. The Bible said that the sky over their head will be bronze. Amen. That means there won't be any blessing coming from heaven. Amen. Even when it rain, it rain another kind of rain which is poisonous. Amen. When they try to plow. They wonder why things are not working because the Lord is against them. Amen. Those who are not making sure that the Lord is by their side. Amen. The Bible says that in verse number 24 of Deuteronomy 28, the Lord will turn rain of your country into dust and powder. It will come down from the skies until they are destroyed when they are not living the life that God loves saying that when the same rain when it's coming to others coming to bless to others because <laughs> because they they have not they are not in God good books they have backslidden they have not worshiped the living God God said that even rain tend to be powder. It tend to be dust. And it rains to destroy. When to you the child of God is raining to bless. Amen. The Bible said that in verse number 25, the Lord will cast them to be defeated before their enemies. Amen. They will come from one direction and flee in seven. You will, and they will come to nothing. Come to, to nothing of horror of the kingdom of the earth. Then that means the word of God, what he's saying is that that person who is not making the Lord to be their God. The word of God is saying that they will be losers. Amen. Then let me tell you this. Then sometimes you are wondering who is a loser? A loser, the word of God is telling you, is anybody who is not making the Lord to be their God. Amen. 
they will turn to a loser. Amen. Because they won't go to any battle Amen. and come back with with success. They won't succeed in anything. Amen. Then when we teach the word of God and we preach the word of God to some people, they think sometimes without knowing this that we are wasting their time. Amen. Can't you know we are trying to turn things around. Amen. We are trying to cast, turn a curse into a blessing. Amen. That they may experience God's Amen. blessing. Amen. Because what I'm reading here, it is not as if this the whole of this chapter is talking about curses. Earlier, the Lord is talking about blessings. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, let us go back to the book of Jeremiah. They said to a wood, you are my father, to a stone, you have gave birth to me. They say they have turned their backs to me and their faces yet when they are in trouble, they say, come and save us. There are people who are worshipping idols who are worshipping idols, who are even making God of a stone, who are making God of things that God has created. Amen. That's why the word of God is saying that. They say to a wood, you are my father. They say to a stone, you have given birth to me. They say, instead of saying that God is the creator, they talk to the created things that it is their God. Amen. Some, they make ancestors to be their God. Amen. And they turn back, their back from the living God, from Jehovah. Amen. And they reject Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior. And after that, when they are in trouble, they ask God, God, where is God? When things have gone wrong, when the devil have done to fulfill what the word of God is talking about in cases such and which you are talking about. And after that, they wonder, ah, ah, where, where is God? I remember one day, I was going through Facebook there was a very terrible accident that has happened around Midrand. It was very bad even when you're looking at that, at that accident over photos of what has happened there. When I'm reading the comments, I see somebody have written, but God, why? But God, why? That person, it is it is that person was doing what the the word of God is talking about. Because when anyone entered that text, nobody pray. Sometimes they did not bother to have a relationship with the living God. They backslidden and worship their idols. But when in the time of trouble they want Jehovah to answer. Amen. Like what the word of God is talking about. That yet when they are in trouble, they say that go, they say come and save us. There are people who are not nurturing their relationship with God. And when they have not nurtured that relationship with God, yet they want to see God blessing them. Amen. They say God come and save us. Okay, when you go down to the book of Jeremiah 20, chapter 2, verse number 28, God say that, where are the gods you have made for yourself? Where are the demons that you have made them to be a god? The demons are eating blood. The demons, they don't know how to bless. They know how to steal, to kill, and to destroy. There are people who are burying their relatives every weekend mysteriously and they are wondering why people are dying in the family like this. There are people in the family, they are sick like nobody's business and they are wondering why people are so sick like this. 
Which God are they worshipping? Which idol is their God? Some, some, some gods, some idols, some demons, they enjoy when their people are suffering. An idol, a demon, it is like a, it is a god of suffering. Amen. Which it enjoy to see its subject on those who are under suffering. Amen. And anyone who's making those ancestors their god, <laughs> like what the word of God is talking about in the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 verse number 19. Where the Bible says that your wickedness will punish you. Amen. Your backsliding will rebuke you. Amen. I'm talking to all those Sangomas. I said that your wickedness, the word of God said, I will punish you. Amen. I'm talking to those who are in witchcraft. Your wickedness will punish you. Amen. Unless they repent and worship the living God, the blesser. Amen. They are cursing themselves. Amen. Nobody is cursing. They are, they are attracting curses to themselves. Amen. Nowadays, it's like it's a fashion. People are going to trust her, to trust her this, trust her that. Go! But when you are done, when they are done, their wickedness will punish them. Amen. Their idols will torment them. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. They will wonder. Even their children and their children, children. I'm not the one cursing them. They may think is that is this man of God standing case. I'm not the one cursing. I'm Amen. only showing them what God have already said. Not me cursing. Amen. The word of God says that from the book of Exodus chapter 20. Let us read from verse number four. Number three, going downwards. You shall not have other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an image for, from in the form of anything in heaven above or earth below or in the waters below. You shall not bow them to them and worship them. Amen. For I, the Lord your God, I am the jealous God. Amen. Punishing the children for the sins of their parents. Amen. To the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. Amen. But showing love to the thousand generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. Amen. Then there are people like that. You find that this one is even a Sangoma. And it shows that you have got a doll. He's worshipping. There's a statue he's worshipping. You have an idol. They don't know what they are attracting for themselves. They don't know what they are attracting for their children. They don't know what they are attracting for their grandchildren. And when the things are bad and the curse is at work, Amen. they will be crying. Amen. Where is God? Amen. And will say that, what did your mother do? Amen. What did your grandmother do? Amen. Why did he not you reject that idol? Amen. And accept the living God. Amen. Because there are people right. who are attracting the an evil gods. Amen. Gods of poverty, God of sicknesses, God of God of premature death. Amen. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. And sooner or later when that oh. idol has begin to kill and begin to afflict people, they wonder again, what is happening? Amen. Where is God of Israel? Are you worshipping him? Amen. Have you made him the God of your family? Amen. Have you made him the God of your life? Amen. 
If you make him the God over your life, God over your family, God over your things, you will experience what the Word of God talks about in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1, chapter 28. Where the Bible says that if you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands, I give you today the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth. Amen. All these blessings will, will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord. Amen. You will be blessed in the city, you will be blessed in the country. Amen. The fruit of your womb will be blessed. The crops of your land, young livestock calves of your head of your lamb. Your basket, your kneading trough will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in. You will be blessed when you go out. Amen. If you carefully serve Jehovah. Amen. Few days ago, if not few weeks ago, we were talking about how that ark of the covenant was taken to the house of a man called Obed Edom. And the Bible says in three months he was blessed. Everything in his house, in his family was blessed. Amen. Because God Almighty is a blesser. Amen. Not this tokoloshis, not this fashion of this of these uh, idols. Amen. Ancestors, they can't bless. Amen. Nowadays it's very sad, it's a fashion which uh, everyone is becoming a Sangoma overnight. If they don't repent, if you don't repent in their Sangoma sheep, the word of the Lord is saying to you, God is speaking to you. Amen. There will be trouble in Jesus' name. Amen. That's what I'm just talking about, what the word of God is saying. God said that, where are the gods you have made for yourself? Let them come if they can save you Amen. when you are in trouble. That's what the word of God, I'm reading the word of God from the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 verse number 28. So, let them come if they can save when you are in trouble. But the problem is that most of those problems those people are going to be going through is because of that demon. That demon enjoys when that person is suffering. If you want to find out, file, ask the man of Gadara. When that man of Gadara, as long as he was accommodating 6,000 demons, those demons were enjoying when he's walking naked. Those demons was enjoying when he's staying in grave. Those demons was enjoying when he's suffering. Then it depends what are you accommodating. Is the Holy Spirit... Or is the demon? Amen. Those who are accommodating demon and backsliding from God. The word of God says that it says that the, their wickedness will punish ah. them. Amen. Their backsliding will be the one which will be rebuking them and they will go like ah ah. This pain is too much. Amen. Why others are progressing when they are not progressing? Mm. Why others are sick? Why are they sick and others are healthy? Amen. It's because of what the poison of the spirit that they've invited. Amen. That I'm saying to the person who is a sinner out there, repent. Amen. Receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Amen. They must stop that homosexuality. Amen. They must stop that witchcraft. Amen. They must stop the life that demons are enjoying. Amen. Because Amen. the devil only knows to do what? To steal, to kill, Amen. and to destroy. Amen. And they must Amen. accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior. Amen. And turn away from their sins. Amen. So that God can bless them. Amen. So that God can protect them. Amen. God is a good God. Amen. That's what the Bible, Amen. when you are reading very well going down Amen. on that verse. God is saying that, what have I done? Amen. 
what have I done that you are, you, you are leaving me? For example, here, as we are about to pray, mm. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse number 31. You of this generation consider the word of the Lord. Mm. Have I been desert to Israel or a land of great, of great darkness? God is saying that, have I not been a blessing God? Because if you, if you find out, is God not powerful? He's powerful. Is he not blessing God? He's a blessing God. It's just that people are not giving him in, a, a required attention for him to bless. Anyway, tonight, let us go and pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Praying for even those who are in the world. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Fire, 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 Fire. I command, I, I command them to the abyss. I command them to the abyss. Anything which is not of God. Anything which is not of God. In my life. In my body. In my career. In our country. In every sector of my life. Every sector of my life. Catch fire now. 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 I command them. I command them. Come out. Come out. 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 Everything to turn around for my good. Everything to turn around for my good. Everything turn around for my good. Everything turn around for my good. Let there be progress. 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 
say let there be miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say Lord Jesus Christ, you are my Lord, you are my Savior, wash me with your blood, forgive me my sins, bless me today, protect me from today, with your power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. From today, From today I am born again. I am born again. I am saved. I am saved. Send me the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love. Surely goodness and love. Shall follow me. Shall follow me. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I dwell in the house. House of the Lord forever. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to say to us tonight, may God bless you. May God bless you. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. And have a blessed night in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.